everybody, Nick here, and today I got a review for you of this little guy. This is the Upper Peninsula of the state of Michigan. As many of you know, I live in Michigan. If Michigan is a mitten, I live down here at the bottom. But the thing is, the top of the mitten is up here. There is this whole area, this wide world up above where I live that's on the other side of the Mackinac Bridge. Uh, we are what are referred to as trolls because we live down underneath the bridge. But anyways, we decided we would take a little vacation, the fiancé and I, that is. And so we spent about a week up here in the UP, and I wanted to share a couple of my thoughts. And as always, we're going to do this as the good, the great, the bad, and the ugly of your Upper Peninsula of the Michigan. All right, here we go. Okay, so first off, on the good side, uh, there were pasties. Uh, this is a, a weird little thing, but it's a pasty is like a, it's a pastry sort of crust that is wrapped around some sort of filling, whether it's vegetables, vegetables and meat, potatoes, etc. But they are just a savory pastry thing, and they are freaking spectacular. This is something, I, I thought this was like a Montana thing, but it turns out that this is also a thing up in, in, in the UP, and that was great, because we could stop someplace and we could get pasties, and that's, that's just spectacular. Um, and, and so the fact that that there were pasties up there absolutely great. Next thing, there was fudge everywhere. Now, this is not a great place to go on a diet, but you could absolutely get fudge pretty much any way you'd like in any variety of flavors. I don't necessarily believe that all the fudge is being made up there, but you know what? It was fine and it was tasty, and a nice benefit of that is that every time you buy fudge, you get a knife. Uh, unfortunately, it's not particularly a gem. The, uh, the, the steel here is a little bit weak. Um, and, and, you know, the blade length is small. It's going to be legal in a lot of... Oh, sorry. Wrong, wrong kind of review. But anyways, fudge was everywhere, and that, that's tasty and uh, brings me a lot of joy. Next thing. There were a lot of beautiful forested drives because, you know, even to get up here, this is like probably five hours away from where I'm at, but every single place you want to go here is like an hour away from everywhere else, and it's an hour on like two-lane highways through forested country. And that, that's, to me, at least a joy. I love driving, and I love driving two Wayne highways and, you know, through trees and pretty and rivers and lakes. And Oh, man, that was great. I was digging that. So that was good. Next thing, St. Ignis, this little place down here. Um, this is a uh, very interesting little point of departure, mostly for uh, Mackinac Island, which is right over here. And the thing is, it's a nice little city. Um, it had good access to the island. It had great views of the lake and some decent enough food. Also some pretty terrible food. Good ice cream place and uh, great views of the Mackinac Bridge, which is this thing that connects the two halves. So say they, this absolutely quality. And then finally, on the good side, uh, Marquette up here. <clears throat> Marquette, quality, quality city. Um, it had some nice down little downtown area, had some good Mexican food, had some nice enough shopping, um, and just great views of the lake. You could walk out there at an old um, uh, uh, or, uh, or loading thing for uh, trains and boats and whatnot. And, you know, I, I we just enjoyed the heck out of Marquette. It was a nice little area to stay at. And so to me, at least, that's the good of the Upper Peninsula, is that Marquette, Quality city. St. Ignis, quality city. Lots of really nice forested drives all between there. The fudge, absolutely quality. And the pasties, oh, they had pasties. Let's talk about what's great, though. Me, what is absolutely great about the Upper Peninsula is the, uh, the, the, the environment, the nature, the country, the raw beauty of the outdoor world. Um, there were beautiful places all over the place. There were places like Taquamenon Falls, uh, Taquamenon. Uh, I'm not Michigander enough yet to be able to pronounce that, but that's, uh, that's up in here someplace, and it was very attractive. I'm probably not even circling the right part of the map. I think it's in this area. Maybe it's closer to here. But either way, yeah, it's closer to here. That's right. It's a beautiful thing, and I'll try and throw a picture into the video right now, and it's going to be great because that's editing, and I never do that in my videos. Next thing, Pictured Rocks, which is in this whole little area here, was a beautiful thing. Unfortunately, you kind of have to go there in a boat, um, and it was a little bit choppy on the day we went, but that's okay. Neither of us get seasick, uh, So, we, but we got a chance to see some very pretty rock formations on the side of the lake there and go out on the lake, which was pretty interesting. I enjoyed that very much. St. Ignis, like I said, had great views of the lake pretty little area. Lake Superior up here, this, this whole affair, I gotta say, it's kind of superior. I mean, there are lots of great lakes out there. Uh-huh. But th this one, this was a quality lake. I enjoyed it. I think it, it, it just, it, it had a, a huge vastness. Like, as somebody, to look out on this and think to yourself, that's not an ocean, it was really weird, because it, it seems like it should be. So Lake Superior absolutely is. And then finally, uh, Canyon Falls was an absolute gem. And it is in this little area here, I believe. Um, 
It's like about an hour outside of Marquette, and look, it was one of the more beautiful places I have been on the earth. It is a hidden gem. There's like one sign off the highway, and then it's a trail where you walk for like half an hour or so to get to it. But I'll, I'll throw a, uh, I'll try and actually throw a clip in there of it, or at least uh, a couple of pictures. We'll see. Oh, that'll happen in the editing. You know, I, I feel pretty secure in calling this particular chunk of uh, river right here a... Uh, this is going to be a gem, 100%. Oh, uh, size comparison, Spydeco Delica. Couldn't resist, right? Um, but Canyon Falls, absolutely freaking spectacular place and was absolutely the highlight of the trip. So to me, at least... What is absolutely great about this is the the, the outdoors in this, the, 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 the beautiful foresting and all of that stuff. So let's talk about what's bad. Okay, on the bad side, cell reception up here was so-so. Even on Verizon, it was struggling here and there, particularly in these middle areas. That's okay. We just had to bust out the paper maps every so often. But look, um, you know, not, not something great. UP, you could work on that a little bit. Next thing, um, Mackinac Island is a little island down in this area. And you know what? It was fine. It's kind of one of those things, I gather, that as a Michigander, you need to do at least once. And it is pretty enough, particularly if you go off the beaten path, kind of on that big route that goes around the island. That, that, that's pretty excellent. But in the main part of town, there were tourists freaking everywhere. There's nice architecture, though. We went up to the Grand Hotel, which is a very beautiful building, a nice property. But it was also weird because they have signs that say that women can't wear pants after 6 p.m. on the property, which is kind of odd. And the only minorities on the property were groundskeeping a wear and maid outfit. So you basically like paying 500 bucks a night to vacation in the 1950s, which it didn't quite sit right for me, but hey, I guess it is what it is. So I'm glad that we went to Mackinac Island, but I don't think we're ever going back. We had the experience. We're all set. And also pricey ferries to get there and whatnot. The uh, Great Lakes Shipwreck Museum is up on this area here. This is the Whitefish Point. Um, and it was about 20 minutes worth of interesting, that museum. But unfortunately, it was 26 bucks worth of admission. And they wanted 8 bucks more if you wanted to go up into the lighthouse. And that needed scheduling and whatnot. Um, and so honestly, although it was kind of neat, I guess, uh, I think we would have been better off just going up here, wandering around the grounds a little bit. And that was free. And seeing the lake, seeing the point, and then getting back in the car, and then going on to someplace else more interesting. But that's okay. You know, we, we, we live, we learn. Next thing, I'm sorry, Michigan, but your mountains just don't count. The, uh, the highest mountain in Michigan, highest point in Michigan is someplace up in this area, Mount Avon, and uh, that is uh, a total of 1,979 feet. I'm sorry, no, Michigan. No, that's not a mountain. You are not allowed to use the term mount. That is just the biggest hill you guys can muster. No. No, no, no. No, no, no. Let's let's just drop the pretense. Let's be real here. Then finally, on the bad side, um, down here in Escanaba, there is a little shop called Knives Ship Free. Uh, unfortunately, they were closed when we drove through that area, and so I didn't get a chance to stop in, say hi, and fondle some stuff. But uh, alas, knives, I mean, that got really weird really quickly. But either way, um, yeah, Knives Ship Free was closed, and that's bad. So to me, at least, that is the bad about the UP here. Knives Ship Free was closed, you mountains don't count those odd mountains. Sorry, guys. Um, the Great Lakes Shipwreck Museum was okay. About 20 minutes of worth of interesting for 28 bucks. Um, back on Island was interesting and included a hotel where you can vacation in the 50s. Um, and then the cell phone reception was so-so. Let's talk about what's ugly. Okay, so first off on the ugly side, there are four counties in this freaking state that are on central time when the rest of the entire state is on eastern. So, okay, guys, come on, Dickinson, Gogabic, Ion and Menominee counties, you are making this way more complicated than it needs to be. I get that you're right up against Wisconsin here, but no, I'm sorry. Stay with the program, guys. None of this two time zone crap. Done. The other thing actually happened down here in the Escanaba. Um, we had booked a hotel uh, there in Escanaba. Uh, we booked three nights, figuring, okay, it's kind of close to everything. We can, you know, drive off to all of our various things. And we booked the hotel with beautiful pictures of gorgeous lakefront rooms online with great reviews. And so we were psyched about this. But the thing is, we pulled up to the place and realized that we might have been 
slightly misled. I mean, yes, there is indeed water. There is a big old lake right down here, and you could see that lake from the hotel. But the thing is, this was not lakefront necessarily because you couldn't access the lake if you wanted to. And it wasn't like lake. It looked like a bunch of muck and wetland and whatnot. Um, and so that was a little bit ugly. Then you walk into the hotel and you realize it looks like a... Um, like a poker room from the 1970s or something in the lobby area. And then we go to the room. And uh, unfortunately, that hadn't been renovated since the 70s either. It made my college dorm room look downright luxurious. And the bathroom, oh, the bathroom had one of those nice amber lights that looks kind of like a cross between a bug zapper bulb and a horror movie prop. Um, It was absolutely terrifying. And so when you turn it on, you get this fan that sounds like a poorly maintained 747 trying to take off. It was terrible. And, you know, if we just needed, like, one night to crash there in between long legs of a road trip, then okay, maybe. But this was not three nights of lakefront living. So we walked into the room. We kind of took a look around. We looked at each other. We said, oh, we have made a mistake here. And so we walked back to the clerk. We hand the key back over, and she is not remotely surprised. She just had this look on it like, yeah, it's pretty bad. And, you know, we're full refund, no questions. I mean, what questions? She knows. We know. The, the, the negotiation was straightforward. And so we ended up backtracking an hour back up to Marquette. And we got a great room for like 10 bucks more. Hey, whatever, best hour we ever drove. But still, the fact that this was terribly misrepresented in reviews, as somebody who was rather sensitive to misrepresentation in reviews, ugly, ugly, ugly. Bad, bad, bad. Um, but anyways, that's the ugly of the UP, is this one hotel just terribly misrepresented, and then four counties being on central time? No, 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 no. That's not how this works. Let's do your final conclusions here. Final conclusions, the UP is pretty great, I gotta say. Um, it is very, very pretty, 100%, and it is way more interesting than the part of the Lower Peninsula where I live. Because, you know, Michigan's fine and all, but I am not all that smitten with this part of the mitten down here. Um, and the fact that you can come up here and you get pasties, which is excellent in and of itself, and you get country, that actually feels a little bit more wild. Like, you know, down here, we, okay, yeah, we get deer. Oh, wow, look at that squirrel, crazy. Um, but up here, it's like, okay, there is a pretty deer decent chance of moose, and this lake is like actually a, a big body of water. It's actually like borderline dangerous to navigate. Um, it, it, that was kind of neat, and so I really did enjoy the UP. We don't get to do that many vacations, but I gotta say, as far as vacations go, this was a pretty solid one. And although we could have skipped a couple of elements here and there, anything with past these lakes, forests, and waterfalls really just can't be that bad. And so on the whole, I have to say the Upper Peninsula of Michigan is absolutely 100% a gem. So, anyways, hope this has been interesting to you, that it guides your future travels effectively, uh, that you are not completely weirded out by the fact that I just reviewed a large part of my state, and that you have yourselves an absolutely wonderful rest of the day. Bye now.